Hey guys, so today we are making a bloat fish. A bloat. Not a bloat fish, but a bloat fish. This cake looks awesome and it was really easy, but not really because it was a dome cake, which automatically makes it terrible. But I did like it. I mean, he looks so cute and chubby. Uh, let's get started. To create this cake, I'm using two half dome cakes and I made chocolate cakes because that's what I felt like eating today. I leveled each cake in the cake pan and then I took them out. I didn't want the back of the cake to be completely round. So with one of the half dome cakes, I cut off a thin layer of chocolate cake because I knew that when I added buttercream, which would be probably like a third of an inch, it would make the back of the cake a little bit more oval. I've been experimenting with how to cover a dome cake. Sometimes when you put it on the cardboard, it like flattens out and I didn't want that. So I took half of my dome cake, I added some buttercream and I just gave it a crumb coat with my offset spatula. I placed on a layer of saran wrap. Then I placed it back into the cake pan that I baked it in. So while it's setting up in my fridge, it actually has all the support from the cake pan. I added a layer of buttercream into the middle of my cake and then just spread it out with my offset spatula. Then I added the other dome cake, another layer of buttercream, and then that thin layer that I chopped off, I actually turned it into two more layers so that this would be more of like an egg shaped cake. I wonder if that's how you create like an egg cake without an egg cake pan. Because if you had like four dome cakes and you just sliced them, but then you took the slices and you doubled up on them, then you could create like, oh my gosh. Hold on, I think I'm onto something, <laughs> hold on. I placed my cake into my fridge to set up. While my cake was chilling in the fridge, I was Hulu and chilling. And you guys already know that I'm a huge Marvel fan. That's why I create cakes for like all the Marvel movies. So I was watching Marvel's Runaways. Marvel's Runaways focuses on a group of kids that run away from home because their parents are like criminals and murderers. The character design on the show is insane. It's like somebody took the characters from the comic book and then put them into a 3d printer they look so similar it's crazy and i'm not gonna lie i think the finale episode was a little disappointing but i am gonna watch the second season for sure i think the cast was so likable and they have a raptor they they better use that raptor in the second season or i'm gonna be mad if you haven't seen it go check it out and if you have seen it what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Once my cakes were done chilling, I placed on two black gloves and using a little bit of water, I just flattened out and smoothened out the surface of my cake. You can add a second layer of buttercream if you want. Uh, I don't want to though, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Now this is where I messed up because I thought I hit the record button on my camera and I didn't so you don't get to see me put the fondant on top of the cake. Instead you get this ugly close up of me taking off the excess fondant. I'm sorry guys. It happens though, but it turned out all right. See, look at that. Now I added a large circular piece of yellow fun to the front to create his belly. His belly game is so strong. He's like DJ Khaled the fish. <laughs> That's his name. His name is going to be Khaled. Khaled the blowfish. The bloat fish. I didn't know it was bloatfish. I didn't know it was like how I feel when I eat a lot of salt. I thought it was blowfish. Like, like he was going to blow you away. Like that. Now my blowfish is gonna have a lot of spikes because blowfish have like spikes all over their body to help protect them from predators. And I wanted to make sure that even though the spikes are gonna be randomly placed, that they were spaced evenly. So I'm using a sculpting tool and creating just little impressions so I know exactly where my spikes are gonna go. And I took my cake, placed it into the fridge and started to work on all of my fish's details. Now to create my fish's fins, I rolled out some yellow fondant and used Using an impression mold, I gave my yellow fondant some texture. And then using a pizza cutter, I just trimmed away the excess fondant. When I was drawing Khaled, I didn't give him all of the fish fins. I just gave him like a dorsal fin, two pectoral fins, and the car cardinal cardinal fin. That's the most religious fin. <laughs> the co cord cordal. Cordal fin. Kobo, 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 
chordal fin. <laughs> now to create his mouth, I took some pink fondant, cut out a circular shape with a small cookie cutter. Then on a larger piece of red fondant, I adhered my pink piece to the red fondant with some magic sauce. And then using a larger cookie cutter, I cut out a D shape for his mouth. And to create my spikes, I rolled out some turquoise fondant into a long teardrop shape. I just cut away the bottom of the teardrop and repeated that process so many times, you guys, so many times. And not just with turquoise fondant, but I did it with yellow fondant so I could place some on his belly as well. I took my cake out of the fridge and then using a paintbrush, I just painted some magic sauce into all of the indentations I created. Then I added all of my spikes and just worked my way all the way around the cake. Oh, I love this part. I've never made a cake with so many spikes before. I attached all of my fish fins to some toothpicks and just plunged them into the sides of his body. The dorsal fin went on top and the cardinal fin went at the back. <laughs> my parents were Roman Catholic, so they always made me do that when I left the pew. Pew, 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 pew. Not those kinds of pews. And then I applied his mouth. Now I did his eyes last because I wasn't really sure what color I wanted his eyes to be. I ended up going with purple, and I think this looks nice. To create his eyes, I started off with two larger pieces of round fondant, and then just stuck them on with a little bit of magic sauce at the back. Now, using two lighter shades of purple, I created highlights for his eyes. And directly on top of the highlights, I added two white pieces of fondant to create some catch lights. Now, cartoons always look good with two catch lights, so I put two tiny catch lights right next to them as well. And voila! My bloatfish was complete. Khaled the bloatfish was complete. Hey Khaled, I want you to know that you were smart. Use loyal. I appreciate you. <laughs> if you want to see more animal cakes, there's an entire playlist for you in the description box and at the end of the video. I think creatures and animals are going to be what I focus on this year. That's not what I planned. I had a whole calendar set out and none of that panned out because of life. Make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything I'm currently working on in the community tab and be notified when a new video comes out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon.